So the year has come to an end and like last year and the year before that I made a video looking at the plans for the next year and an overview of what I did in that year. And 2016 was a fantastic year both on a personal level and for my channel. Well, my channel is very personal anyway. Um, so there was a few things in 2016 that I planned out to do and I've bullet pointed them and I'll tell you what those were and whether or not that I actually achieved them. So in 2016 my plans were to complete a filmography of a few filmmakers and I think I said Kurosawa, uh, Scorsese and also uh, Charlie Chaplin. Well, I don't think that one was ever possible. There's too many. I think it was like 85 films or something if you conclude all the shorts. But I did complete the filmography of Kurosawa, which was, you know, great. The last one that I had to watch was The Quiet Duel and it was a really great film. I had to find it on YouTube. It's not even on DVD in the UK. I also said that I was supposed to do actor biographies and I never did get around to doing that. I did do one in early 2015 or late 2014 which was on Vincent Price and people liked that video and I showed it to a few people and they, they enjoyed it as an overview of the career. I definitely should try and get another biography done. Um, I was also about to do director biographies and never, I never got around to that either. I think I was going to do like Chaplin or Kubrick or Scorsese or something and just overlook their career and I don't know if I just want to do like an overview biography of their career or talk about why I like their films so much. I think I'd rather do that and make it personal because uh, historical retrospectives have all been done before anyway, I guess, in books and whatnot. I said I would make three films and I did do that. In fact, I made more than that. I made a little Belfast short little montage thing. I did two proper short films and then I also did uh, my documentary. That was something I also put in my 2016 plans. Do a documentary on skateboarding or my city Belfast and I never did do those but I did make my feature documentary which is here on this channel and I'm so happy to see that it's still there. I'm so glad that uh, my testing of keeping it up there and due to copyright and stuff except for that one clip of Bonnie and Clyde that was detected. It, it stayed up there because it's obviously I've kind of adhered to the rules of um, fair use because it's commentary and criticism and whatnot. Uh, so that's still there. That was my some of my 2016 plans that I said in my video this time last year. And it looks like I kind of I did some of the things. Another one was to do a scene analysis series, which I no longer desire to do. It's now became doing a film analysis altogether rather than just one scene. I don't think it could really, you know, I'll, I mean, I could elaborate, but I don't think it's interesting enough to watch just someone talk about one scene. Um, so instead, I've just done film analysis. So yeah, that's what's happened in 2016, and we could also look at the statistics of what I've watched because I'm a weirdo and I register everything that I watch film-wise, that is, on Letterboxd, a great website to register what you watch. And the statistics this year are crazy. So according to Letterboxd, I have 351 diary entries, so that includes short films as well, and I clocks in at 640.3 hours of watch time. It's weird to think this is the most, um, you, you can see, the compar I'll put a comparison here of what each year has been, the full years on the website 2014-15 and th this year 2016. Uh, this is the most, which is unusual because this has been my busiest year, you know, I've been, I've been, I worked a lot in the summer, I was in America for a long time studying, I, you know, I've been studying, I've been working on other film projects, I've done a lot, so I don't know how the hell I've managed to watch more than ever. And that does exclude television. You know, I did, I got through the entirety of Mad Men uh, throughout the year. Yeah, I seem to have watched a lot of stuff. So now I think we could dig into what I intend to do on this channel and otherwise for 2017. Well, my first target would be to do more of the film analysis videos, which seems to be getting a good response. And it's the ones that I really, like, it's quite difficult to sit down and write all that and then uh, have to edit all the film clips. Uh, but it's, it's probably the most rewarding and fun one for me because it means I really get to talk about what it is in films that I see and appreciate about them and, you know, my interpretations of them. And I think that's, it's nice to put some attention into films that are not as well known. Well, not as, f films that haven't been discussed that much on YouTube itself. You know, I know films like There Will Be Blood have definitely been covered a lot, but there aren't that many videos on films like Akiru. And so I think uh, I intend to do at least 12 analysis videos, which means that will be one for every month. And I'll probably do more than that on top of, you know, my reviews and whatnot. So yeah, doing at least 12 analysis videos is definitely something that I'm going to do. 
Then I also want to do a video dedicated to one director, and it'll probably be someone like Scorsese, or Bergman, or Chaplin, or Kubrick, or Paul Thomas Anderson, you know, just a ret maybe just a overview of what I like about their films, uh, maybe some of their core themes. Uh, perhaps that would be a good idea, let, let me know below, you know, just look at some core themes that those directors have, and what films you can really see that in. Doing a top 100 to 250 film list is definitely something that I've been meaning to do in a video for a long time. And for the past year or two, I've been re-watching a lot of films that I considered to be my absolute favourites. Uh, because there were some that I had only seen once. So I think seeing it again refreshes my memory of that film. Because it's been, it's been on my list for a long time. And I think at the moment I'm just trying to pinpoint what the hell my favourite films are. It's uh, Because it's a constantly changing thing. And that's kind of the way films are. It's very hard to rank films when you really think about it. Um, so I don't know, it could be a top 100 list. It could be a top 150 list, or it could be a flat out top 250 list. And you can see that my top 250 favourite films list on Letterboxd. I'll put a link uh, to that here. Another series that I would like to begin to do is doing TV analysis. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. It's just a matter of how I do it. I did post on Twitter about what way I should do it. Some people said uh, the two most popular was do it by season and then do it by just some of the main themes. And I think if I just do the main themes, then... The video will be probably under 15 minutes and it'll narrow what I can talk about because I kind of want to talk about everything when it comes to some of the TV shows I love like Sopranos and Six Feet Under and Mad Men which I finished this year which is now definitely one of my favourites. I want to also do at least five discussion videos like the ones I did with Kevin and William and Leah um, because they were, just, they were just great to do to talk about some of the films that I really really love, the masterpieces and it really is just going to be like masterpiece discussions but I think what I'd like to do is do some other topics, not just focused on one film. Uh, one video idea we have already that we intend to shoot at some stage is look at directorial debuts because there seems to be a lot of great directorial debuts happening in the past decade or so. A lot of great filmmakers who have you know, just popped out of nowhere with these really strong, confident and bold films that have been coming out. So that might be a potential video for uh, direct... Uh, Directors who, who have only done two or three films up to this point and made really great debuts. So I want to get at least five of those done. And then marathon ideas. You know, obviously on my channel I've always done marathons. There's the Studio Ghibli Week, there's the Horror Marathon, there's the Asian Film Marathon, which was fantastic. The Silent Film Marathon, so much things. So I think I have another few ideas for what kind of marathons I could do. And I think one that I should definitely get to do is... Cinema of Northern Ireland and Northern Irish Identity on screen. Because I think that is definitely something that hasn't been covered on YouTube. Uh, at least not in in depth the way I intend to do it. And I would really just like to take a look at how our, our identity, Northern Irish Identity, has been portrayed on film. Because it's a very interesting, unique uh, thing. You know, are we British? Are we Irish? Are we Northern Irish? Uh, there's, it's a very difficult thing uh, to try to explain to anyone that's not from here. You know, I, it, it, It's hard for us to even explain to ourselves. So I think it would be interesting to look at how films about Northern Ireland have been you know, trying to capture something about our identity and our politics and our history. Uh, obviously looking at films from like Kim Sheridan and Neil Jordan because their bodies of work have really looked at Ireland and Northern Ireland quite in depth. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people who who know me out there, who would love to see that, and support is needed. I think I'll definitely get dig into that one. Other than that, 2017 is an open book. I intend to just maybe make up other video series, perhaps even get around to reviewing some video games, maybe make that like a side thing on my, on my channel. Uh, there's no problem doing that. So to wrap up this video, I'd just like to say to all those people out there who I've collaborated with on the channel, who I've talked to in person about film projects and... I've been writing things with and all that sort of thing. I'd like to say thanks a lot for just an absolutely awesome year. You know, it's been a very productive year. It's been a great year for just creating things and meeting new people. Um, without making this a rambling New Year's New Year's speech, I'd just like to say thanks everyone for subscribing and watching my videos and commenting. It's been, uh, it's been very. This has probably been the best year for it, and I intend to keep my keep the quality. You know, keep the quality up and just share my thoughts on stuff because that's what I want to do and hopefully in 2017 I hit 2,000 subscribers I'm at 750 now so hopefully by the end of 2017 
I get 2,000. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me, but it's whatever. I, w I would like to expand more and have more people watch my stuff. Uh, but it, it just depends. So thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. And I will see you in 2017. Happy New Year.